Hi everyone, I am Dr. Surishati Bharat Kumar, Consultant Neurologist at Yashoda Hospital, Malakpet. it is being used primarily as an anti-aging therapy to reduce wrinkles over the forehead predominantly used by some kind of actors or celebrities as an anti-aging therapy but in neurology there are multiple conditions where we can use this botulinum toxin injection so i'll try to illustrate a few examples where it is being used first condition is uh, blepharospasm that is nothing but uh, involuntary closure of uh, eyes so the patient can have uh, they'll be having a continuous closure of the eyes they have difficulty in opening it so there we can inject around the eye to reduce that blepharospasm and one more condition where we can use is uh, hemifacial spasm that is one half of the face that gets involuntary contractions it's like uh, continuous contractions continuous twitchings will happen so that will be like um, some kind of a cosmetically also that looks a bit uh, bad for them and whenever they see light or whenever uh, they go to outside in the sunlight they can have uh, increased contractions of one half of the face so there we can inject around the face in multiple muscles and uh, one more condition where we can use is uh, cervical dystonia it is nothing but a wry neck or torticollis so in this what will happen is like uh, the neck may bend to one side either right side or left side in some patients either forward or backward bending of the neck can happen it can lead to continuous pain and continuous spasms so the patient will be in uh, deep pain in them also we can inject around the neck muscles other conditions where we can use is like uh, writer's cramp writer's cramp is nothing but the patient has difficulty in writing so there will be change in the handwriting while writing they can have pain also usually it is seen uh, predominantly in uh, teachers or working class uh, students and uh, those who are appearing for uh, exams they can have these kind of a problem so that can lead to various complications in them so in them also we can use this uh, botulinum toxin injections and other conditions where we can use is resistant migraine also so migraine we know that the headache will be usually in one side it is very throbbing headache if the migraine is not responding to our conventional medication there is role of botulinum toxin injections also apart from that we can use in uh, lingual dystonia it is nothing but they have a difficulty in speaking while speaking the clarity will be reduced uh, so there also we can use this botulinum toxin injection even some patients can have stroke post stroke what will happen is like the muscles will give, become very stiff so in them also to reduce the muscle overactivity we can use this botulinum toxin injections It is an OPD based procedure only, there is no need for admission also. You can come, get, uh, get the injection done and uh, on the same day you can go home. Are there any known side effects of botulinum toxin injections? It is a intramuscular injection, so it will not spread into the blood. So there will not be any significant side effects of this botulinum toxin injection. And uh, are there any complications? Completely devoid of any complications. And uh, what is the duration of uh, botulinum toxin usage. So usually typical injection lasts from 3 to 6 months. Depending on the condition of the patients, you can take multiple injections. So this is all about our botulinum toxin injection. Thank you. Like, comment and subscribe for more health updates.